Brett, welcome to Portman Road. I'm sure you're absolutely thrilled to be here. How's your day been? I've got a permanent smile. It just, uh, I really, I can't get, I can't uh, stop pinching myself. Um, long, long overdue, thrilled to be here. Um, too short a visit, but better, better to get a little time here and better late than never. But, uh, and I can't wait to return, hopefully very, very soon with the rest of, of my partners, of, of the partners associated with this club now. Absolutely, it would be nice to be here with, with Mark and, and, and Burke. Eh? Unfortunately, the circumstances don't allow that, but you can uh, go back to them and feed back how enjoyable this trip has been, hopefully. I, I won the lottery. I was able to kind of be the advance crew, if you will. And, uh, but again, I, I, I've taken some videos and I'll be calling them all, um, you know, and telling them they gotta, they got to figure out whatever it takes. they got to get over here and see this firsthand because my expectations couldn't have been higher and I've been absolutely blown away with every, every facet of it. You know, starting with obviously the time at the training center earlier, obviously spending time with Paul and his team, um, seeing all the players, meeting them, spending the day with Mark Ashton and, and the incredible team that's been here and the incredible team that's been added to, to this whole group. It's just awesome, inspiring. Now sat two rows back from your seat tomorrow afternoon in director's box. How does it feel to actually be in the stadium? I, I drew, I, it's not a hyperbole to say I have goosebumps. And I can only imagine tomorrow um, what it's going to be like. So, you know, uh, praying, praying that while I'm here in person, you know, that, that it's, we're on the right side of, of, the, of the victory tomorrow. Um, because I think there's nothing like it. I remember uh, Mark sending me some video at the home opener, and I was just stunned with how loud it was. So I can't wait to hear it in person, be a part of it. It's a special atmosphere at Portman Road, potentially 20,000 plus tomorrow here. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, sorry. What do you expect from that atmosphere? Uh, again, I, I, I can only imagine, um, I think it's going to be one of the most unique experiences that I've ever been a part of in my life. And I can't, I, I don't think I'll be able to sleep tonight. And uh, it's not just the jet, jet lag that's driving that. I mean, I, I truly can't wait till tomorrow when I get back, you know, into these grounds and see it filled up with the best supporters in the world, which I've, I've come to realize is, you know, obviously the family that's part of Ipswich. Mm. And you've been watching from afar so far. What's that been like? Yeah, I mean, I love to love to watch the team, and you know, I follow has been a nice platform for us. But again, there's nothing like nothing like being here in person, um, and so I'm so happy to finally, you know, physically be here. Uh, can't wait wait to kind of literally in person thank the supporters um, for all that they do to make this club, you know, what it what it really is. It's one of the most special brands in the world. Um, but then I also I can't wait to feed off the en energy and. Uh, I'll, tr I'll try not to go crazy and, yeah. and, you know, rip off my tie and, you know, act inappropriate, but, or maybe it is appropriate, or the best way to describe someone who is just so pleased to be a part of this incredible family and, and to see it firsthand. What can we expect from you in the director's box tomorrow? You're quite a passionate I, fan. I, I, yeah, I am. I am indeed. And, you know, I've got some good moments. My, my regret is not being with Bear Kay and Mark, and then, you know, obviously Mark Steed and, and Ed Schwartz, you know, that, that the, the rest of this group that I'm so blessed to be a part of that aren't here to ideally and hopefully uh, celebrate tomorrow. But yeah, I, I, I hope that I've got a lot of reason to be very, very positively animated tomorrow. There must be a lot of emotions because although you've been associated with the club now for a significant amount of time, it must feel actually so special just being here in person. That's well said. No, I, I completely agree. Um, it is a little bit surreal because in some respects we wanted to get over here obviously for the home opener. Couldn't make that happen, but you know, as I said, better late than never. Um, but I really hope hope to make it a regular occurrence. I hope to get over on a far more consistent basis. Um, it's there's it's something so special. I really feel so honored to be a part of it and play whatever small role I get to play a part of this incredible club, and excited to see it heading in the direction that it's heading. And how about your time in England, Brett? You just mentioned there, uh, short but sweet. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, as a lot of people know, I spent five years living here. Mm. It was a while ago to date myself. It was a couple of decades ago, but I still remember how to drive, you know, still driving myself, you know, I rented, rented a car and so far a couple of days on the road and it's all safe out there. You guys are, can get back in your cars. And, um, but it's great. I mean, I, I love this country. I've al always have and I've, always, you know, I've spent a, 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 an incredible amount of time on a relative basis of my life here. Um, and so to now have uh, something like this that I'm a part of and to have reason to come over and have reason to bring my family over. Uh, my friends, etc. Um, you know, among a lot of highlights in my life, nothing compares to the pride that I feel being associated with this club. 
there'll be a lot of love from the supporters tomorrow, and that's a, a mutual admiration, isn't it? I, you know, that's uh, I'm humbled, humbled by any, if you will, um, I don't know. The the relationship with the supporters is very special to me, and and I and I I feel uh, right rightly so a reverence towards all of them for their support of this club and really feel it's it, it's not hyperbole to say that's the the heartbeat the blood and soul of a club like this is through the supporters and that that's what it's all about and I'm pleased uh where I feel that they they are supportive of the collective group that have come together to be a part of this club so I think the relationship is obviously sacred and I think uh it's working well because I think they're starting to recognize that this is heading in the direction and uh, that we all hope and wanted to see it, it start to under our ownership, if you will. Welcome again, Brett, and uh, enjoy the game tomorrow. Thank you, my friend.